Hello and welcome to a quick session on Zoho CRM on how to log calls against CRM data. In this example we're just going to use leads but the same concept can be applied to contacts and potentials as well. Okay so to start we will deal with an inbound incoming call I received from a lead in the system. So for example you can do this during the call or after the call is finished. So for example, Sally down here is going to call us. And to do that, we can either use the quick actions here, add a new call, or for more detailed uh, data entry, we can scroll down to the open activities and use log a call here. The add new call function uh, on the quick actions will just give you the basics uh, of the call here. The other one, log a call, will give you the chance to add the description and detailed notes. So for example, if it's incoming, you want to do this quite quickly, so you'd more than likely use add a new call under the quick actions. So you can put in the information in here. Um, so we can say general inquiry inbound. It defaults to inbound. Okay, so the options are inbound and outbound. We'll deal with inbound first, leave that as it is. Purpose you can put in uh, whatever the purpose was here. So um, these drop downs, unfortunately, at this stage are not um, customizable. So you're going to have to just use these uh, as applicable for the uh, situation. So call start time. This will default to the time and date that is uh, on your system for the CRM. And um, so you don't really need to change that if you're doing this on the fly. You can then put in the call duration. So if this is being added after the call and the call is for five minutes, you can just put that in there. And then you can uh, put in the call results. And the owner will default to the owner or the user who is logged in and logging the call. And once you've done that, you can click save. the call duration for the fields are populated and then you can see that the call has been logged as a closed activity because it's in the past uh, here so you would log the call um, as an activity that's been completed now that was using the quick action you can also use the log call here on the uh, open activities section and that will allow you to do pretty much the same thing, but it also has the function here of the timer. The chances of you um, being able to quickly launch into this and time an incoming call as it happens are fairly small. But if you, you know, if you do or you want to try to do it, then the option is there to do so. So you would just do the same kind of thing. Then inbound or outbound, same, same uh, drop down for call purpose. Now the lead it will be automatic because I was already looking at that lead. And then I can actually click a timer here and then the timer will go and uh, that incoming call will be timed. So when I'm ready I just click stop and then it will populate in the call duration fields below. And here's where I can put in the description call result. So I can save, save and create a follow-up task, for example, call back tomorrow or something like that, or just cancel. So if I save this, this too has been logged as a closed activity. It's already completed because I hit the timer and I stopped the timer. So in the CRM, that's logged as a completed call and uh, the activity type is automatically set to calls. And that's important because that will be displayed as an activity type in the reporting module. If you report on sales activities and group them by activity type, these will automatically be grouped as a call. So the other one is an outbound call. So if we're going to, we can stay on the same lead and that can be done in the same way. So you can add a new call from the quick actions and this time you would select outbound. However, if you want to do a timed call, which is more uh, probable and easier to do if you're doing an outbound call, 
you can do so by the open activities log core and then select outbound and then the lead will be automatically because uh, I already started this call whilst looking at the lead record if I log a call without doing that then I would have to search for the record to which to log the call and then I can click the start button and you can see the timer is going and basically now the idea is that I am actually physically making the call and I can do this either with a hands-free headset and speaker mic that kind of thing Skype any kind of uh, telephony system like this and I can uh, actually write the details of the call in here so I actually key in the information and the uh, bullet points of what I'm talking about in the description during the call itself So then I put in a single sentence call result uh, that can be pulled into the reports as well for easy reference. And then when I finish the actual physical call, I can click stop. And then the time is populated in here. And same kind of thing. So I can save it. I can save it and create a follow up task. So in this case, I'll save and create a follow up task. And you note in the call, this lead wanted a quotation. So the follow-up task might be send quote, and I might actually have to do that uh, tomorrow or something like that, and um, give it a priority and so on, notification email, etc. And now in one process, I've actually created a call an outbound call plus a follow-up task which is logged under the open activities because I'm yet to complete that task. However, the, follow the call that was outbound, that's already completed because I started and I stopped the timer, so it's automatically put into the closed activities section. Activity type is call. The save and follow-up task was created as uh, send a quote. Activity type is tasks and it's not started yet, the status is not started, it's not completed so it will remain in the open activities until I'm ready to uh, finish that task. If I've done it then I can click the close button and uh, then that task will be moved down to the closed activities section automatically. And this can be found in the uh, reports section. So we're making calls but then we want to report on the calls and you can do that in the activity reports. You can have today's calls and so on. So here are the three calls that were made, inbound, outbound, uh, the purpose of the call and the subject and so on. So if you want to include the customer or lead name in here, you just simply customize the report. And that's how to log calls and follow up tasks and also report on the calls in Zoho CRM.